How you doing? This is uh, Liam Sweeney with uh, Radio Radio X Experience Monthly, and I am speaking today with Kelly Westcott. Hi, Kelly. Hi. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, Kelly works at Dark Tower Tattoo, does body piercing. Yes, I do. Well, where I first heard of you. Um, and you also do sculpture and other kind of art. Yes, I do. I am a art student at UAlbany, uh, an art major, theater minor. I am in my senior year, and um, that's where the sculpture was developed, was in the Boar Sculpture Studio last semester when I had two sculpture classes in one semester, and I just kind of mashed everything into one piece, and it came out um, un- unbelievably uh, compelling, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. So now, um, this is weird because, you know, like, um, I think that people are going to see your work when they see the podcast or the video, uh, um, but how do you describe the the mindset that you have when you go into doing sculpture? Um, well, I am a very um, intuitive artist, and I like to take a bunch of things that are going to be thrown away or discarded or that I've had bought and didn't use and, and kind of just let the pieces do the work um, and tell me what to do. <laughs> you know, okay. so it's kind of just like I, I, I don't have a plan when I go in. I just have things that I want to do something with. And, of course, they had to meet the criteria of this, the, um, you know, we, in, in class we had certain criteria we had to meet. Um, but I did have the advantage of having – um, the Boar Sculpture Studio where we could have access to any kind of building material and metal. I did welding. Um, I painted. There was, a, there was a, uh, a spray booth. And it was just so many things that I've never had access to, and it just exploded. <laughs> Okay, so now, like, do you have you also do you also do um what I let's call it flat art, you know, like two D art um painting stuff. Painting, like that. I do have many paintings. It's a lot of them are very abstract. I did uh, some um, charcoal drawing, which um, came out really amazing, surprisingly to me. Um, I I do draw sometimes, and I of course work at a tattoo shop, so I'm leaning towards that. My husband was a um, tattoo artist. Uh, he passed away, but um, so it's been in my life a long time. Just art has been around me a long time, and I just never had the opportunity. I was a nurse for um, and a mother, so I uh, just discovered that art is in me, and I need to do it. <laughs> and the power okay, so, of art. So now, one of the things I've noticed, and and I don't know if you would notice this or not. You probably do. I sense a very fractal, like like I, I when I look at your work. I see, like, fractals, like, um, you know, the glass, broken pieces, broken pieces, (laughs) but but the the pieces contain all the same broken pieces within them, which contain all the same broken pieces within them. It just goes goes very deep into all that. That's what I see a lot of the work. It really is very intricate. And, like, you could literally stand and look at it and look at it for hours because there's so many different pieces involved and they all tell a story like the whole thing gives you the information and you kind of you do you have to like piece it together like what is going on here you know and you see brokenness and in troy i i I did a mural project for uh i I volunteered down under the who's street bridge okay it was amazing to me and then i walked by there or I ride my bike by there and I see homeless people living under it and I hear the stories of the families that are broken apart by the gun violence in Troy and it it's just too much for me and I need to express that and in a, in a way I never expected this sculpture to be seen by anybody but like my classmates and then you Albany had a um like a showcase day and everyone from everywhere came and saw my sculpture, and the administrator actually um, tried to get it out in public space, and he didn't have any luck. And then I happened to get this job, and I happened to meet a person who happened to get me into that gallery, and it was just incredible. 
Wow. So um, for because you may actually show a picture of that when we do the podcast, but it, just in case you don't, um, can you explain what the to, to the person who can't see it? Because I okay. actually I I can't see it. I, I don't know which one. If, if if I am looking at it, I don't know which one it is. Can you explain explain the one with the gun violence? The, well, what it what it looks like. If what you, it, uh, if, okay, so when you walk up to the sculpture, um, you have to go around and kind of go inside of it, and there is a candlelit vigil. There's a dozen or so, 20 candles, and there's sneakers hanging over the, um, you know, there's a little fence type thing that someone would use to build themselves a little, you know, hideout somewhere for for good night's sleep when they're homeless and there's pictures of all of the kids in troy who have been shot in 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 an albany and all the people who have been involved in the gun violence because it affects me and people that i know very deeply and i seen i went and took pictures of all of the vigils in troy every one i could find lit not lit wax left behind and they're all hanging around that sculpture in one way or another. Wow. wow. That, and that's, I mean, and that says to the human, I mean, because I can think of like all these different words. What I was thinking, you know, when I think, when I heard of oh, the, the gun violence culture, I'm thinking I was going to be a lot of guns arranged no, a no. certain way. It's about no, the family it's the disaster. human, it's the very human element right. of it all. Right. Wow. The breaking, how it breaks families, it breaks communities. It broke this whole uh, place apart. I've lived here my entire life. And I have people shooting people down the street from me on a regular basis. And it's, 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 it's never been like that like it is now. And it doesn't make any sense. We're not that big of a city where we should have that, you know, intrusive of gun violence. Yeah, and I um I, I live in Cohoes, and I, I got woken up at 10 o'clock the other yes. night from uh, just like 15 pops. And then, and then <laughs> coming to find out that, the, you know, one of the kids got killed up just like, yeah. Not even a my, block away from my house. My 18-year-old son is terrified to leave the house. Wow. He doesn't want to go outside. He knows these kids. That one of his friends was shot in their bed in the middle of wow. the night over a gun. Somebody stole, it's, you know, I don't, you know, whatever. I don't know. But it's all surrounding the gun violence. And, and people end up losing their minds because they can't fathom losing their children. And everything yeah. falls apart after that. Exactly, exactly. There's not enough help for the people after there. There's nowhere to go. So when people see your your sculpture, your gun violence sculpture, I mean, has it? Because I mean, you I can hear it in your voice. That it this, is this, how how much this affects you. Has it affected anybody else that looked at it and just went to you and was like, I can't believe this. I okay. yes, I have a, a the administrator from U Albany who does community, you know, um, connection stuff. He said it. He was moved by my sculpture. I have had people cry. My my, my one of my students. A uh, fellow, you know, students at U Albany, her grandmother came, and she said she she was brought to tears by it. You know, it is. It's moving. It, it, yeah. If you really look at it and think about it, you will get you. Will, and the minute you see the candles, you know. And then you right. see the sneakers hanging, and you know. And um, yeah, it's just real. It's very raw, and that's why it hurts. That's what the glass is about. It's it's sharp, and there's a bird cage that's almost open and if you've ever had issues with mental health it's like you're in a cage and the door's open you can't get out you know oh uh, yeah that's yeah that's um that's yeah that's uh so um because like i said we went from you know looking at some of your <laughs> other work where you're where you're um you're very fractal very natural very uh yeah. very organic kind of and also very abstract and yeah. then going to the the gun violence where that, that's not abstract that's very you know, very Wrong. forward with yeah. what it is. Yeah. Are you looking to, are you just going to go as it comes and find whatever moves you, or are you looking to do more, um, more stuff like the gun violence uh, um, uh, sculpture? You know, it, honest, I, I, to tell the truth, I did that for um, a very close, close friend, family of mine, who was very upset about this. And she felt like she couldn't do anything. And I felt like I had an opportunity 
to do something. This is what I can do. I don't have connections to, you know, political people who can do right. something. I'm just a still little, I'm, you know, uh, in, the, in the lower poverty level, I have nothing. But I had the opportunity to express what's going on in my art sculpture because I learned when I went to Columbia University, I can put my artwork on a stage and people will see it. And that's where you have a voice. That's the power. Yeah, that's that's the real power. It is. Um, so, but just to, not, not to get, I mean, what we're talking about is very deep and very, you know. Very it deep. is, it um, is. Um, but I want to just uh, come back and just ask, like, uh, one question a little bit more sure. on that. Then. Um, so when you go to, when you're, like, when you're just, let's say you're not doing something like that, because that's obviously that, that you, I'm sure you had a really strong vision for that right away. Yeah. Um, when you just go walking around, um, where do you find, like, let's say the materials even for, for some of the stuff? Do you do you have go-to places where you like to go and look for stuff to make sculptures out of? Um, well, hmm. That's a great question. I I don't know. I just accumulate. Yeah, I just see things, and I'm like, I have to have that. <laughs> I I've carried home like, <laughs> uh, um, school desks, and as yeah, I just find things, and and people are gonna throw them away, and I'm very like, you know, I um I care about like you know the amount of garbage that we produce, and right. and I just I even though this is not necessarily uh you know like. I, I, getting rid of it, but it's, it's definitely used it for a purpose that has, has turned into something amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. It, 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 well, it, yeah, I, I, go, I ride my bike a lot. It so upcycles. I, what they call that? Than upcycling. Or I walk a lot, so I see things that people who drive don't see. Right, true, true. Right? <laughs> oh, all right, so one more. Let's go to uh, You Do Body Piercing at Dark Tower. Uh, Dark Tower is our inside front cover and i think you were yeah, yeah. on the inside front cover uh, this month this month it's um, so crazy so, right <laughs> oh yeah so uh so how was uh so how is it to um i mean that's a dumb question how is it to to do body uh, modification and body piercing oh it's great um, it really is you know there's not i was a nurse for a very long time and um being you know being that kind of person and then changing into this role, which I've watched, I've been involved, I've seen my husband, you know, run a shop and all this, so I'm kind of familiar, but um, I wasn't as involved. I was kind of like just, you know, touch and go, and then I did my own thing, like I've, I'm working on my bachelor's degree, you know. So um, being in a shop and being the one that's like, like Gary's so good to me, he's taken such good care of me since I've been here, he's a really good boss, and and I'm happy to come to work. He's trying to kick me out. He's like, you got to go home. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to ask one last question, and I tend to ask this of everybody. Um, this is where you answer the question that I did not ask. So this okay. is uh, remarks, comments, right. uh, educate, enlighten, emote. Uh, the floor is yours. What's the question? Say whatever you want. Oh, I can say whatever I want. Okay. Sure. Yeah, within 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 reason. <laughs> so, um, I just really hope that the effort that I put into this sculpture and the passion that I put into this sculpture, it wasn't for anything but uh, to find an outlet for uh, using my artwork to um, promote a better place for us in, in this city. We need to do things, and, and, and that's something that I learned, you know, by going to school is that artwork gives you a voice, just like theater. Theater gives you a voice as well. And um, I like my, my sculpture to make you walk around and see it and feel it, and it's very heavy. It's not beautiful in some ways and it's it's amazingly beautiful in others so i hope everyone who gets a chance to see it or i i hope i can show it again it would be great um but i don't know what's going to happen from here so <laughs> okay well we wish you luck and we're going to be looking forward to what you have coming well, um this is uh this has been kelly westcott um dark tower tattoo body piercing and sculptor extraordinaire.
Thank you so much. We are guys. here, Radio Radio X. Oh, yeah, Radio Radio X. We, uh, <laughs> I have to think about that. No, Radio Radio X Experience Monthly. That's, yes. Thank you okay. so much.